Hey guys, and welcome to Positive Movement with Julie. Today we will be doing a full body chair workout. So all you need is a yoga mat and a chair. Um, make sure your chair does not roll and has a flat seat because um, we will be stepping on it. So you don't want to fall off. <laughs> um, to make some of the workout or some of the exercises a little more challenging, you can use weights. I will not be using weights today. So <clears throat> get set up and let's get started. We're gonna start on our mat with our cat cow. Going to be on all fours, rounding the back, tucking the chin, and arching the back, bringing the chin up. Take your time, breathe through it. And relax. All right, we are going to be doing a um, quadruped hydrant. So you're going to stay on all fours and you're just going to bring your leg up and back down. We're going to start with just the left leg, working those hips just a little bit. Good job. Trying to keep that core engaged if you can. Squeeze in the ground so that your hands are not flat on the mat. And switch sides, same thing. Just warming up those hips. We're gonna be doing full body, but there is uh, some lower body. Gotta get ready for it. And relax. All right, now we're going to be doing our runner's lunge. Bring your left leg forward. Rotate to the left. Come back down. Other leg, same thing. Take your time with the rotation. Go at your own pace. For a deeper stretch here, you're going to be in that plank position. Bring that leg forward. Rotating. Down. Other side. Same thing. But I am going to be hanging out down here. <laughs> When you're in the plank position, you can get a deeper stretch in your hip flexors. But you also have to be able to engage your core very well. So I'm here. You're going to come to standing any way that feels good for you. <clears throat> We're going to be doing squat to a heel raise. So just squat, heel raise. If you want, you can reach for the sky. Whatever feels good for you today. You don't have to get super low with the squats. Just a warm up. Remember, when you are bringing your heel up, make sure you're pushing through your big toe when you're going up on your toes. You got it. Just warming up that body. One more and relax. All right, now we're doing our back lunge for rotation. So just lunging back and rotate. Try to keep one arm in front, bring the other arm behind you for a little spinal rotation. Taking your time with these. 
Again, you don't have to get super low. Just warm it up. But if you can get low and it feels good, let's get it. seconds. And relax. All right. First exercise. Just move my chair a little bit. First exercise is chair burpees. Five seconds. You can modify these any way you would like. But here we're going to be doing out, out, up, up, and stand. Let's do it. Remember to keep your core engaged when you're in that beautiful plank position. If you want to make it more challenging, hold the seat, pop out, pop up, jump. That's a high impact. I will be hanging out here in my little low impact burpee. Remember, whenever you're in that plank position, that core better be turned on. We got it. And relax. All right, now we have squat to kickovers. So we're just doing a squat to a kickover. Five seconds. Alternating which leg is kicking over. Let's do it. You don't have to kick over your whole chair. You want to just kick over the seat. You want to challenge yourself. Get that leg up. That core is turning on every time. You pick that leg up. Remember, a lot of the time my squats are going to be wider because of this. <laughs> um, you can keep your feet about shoulder width apart. Just find which stance feels best for you. You should not have any knee pain. Shouldn't have any pain. Five seconds. And relax. All right. Now we have chair push-ups. All right. You don't have to go super low with these. I will be taking breaks because my core gets tired. Um, so do what you can. So we're just hanging out here. I also can't get very low because uh, the chair is in the way. <laughs> if your chair is low enough, you could do the knee push-ups. They almost turn into like tricep push-ups. You can do little guys. Just trying to keep your shoulders over your hands as much as you can. Core engaged. Down and up. If you want, you can also put your hands flat on the chair. My chair is not very wide. It helps if you have a wider seat. We got it. Five seconds. And relax. All right. You can do a high knee or a step together. I'm going to do a step together. Make sure you push through the heel. Step up. We're alternating legs. Make sure you squeeze the glute at the top. You're leaning forward a little bit. If you need to hold on to something as you step up, go for it. 
We do not want any falling. This is an exercise where you can grab some dumbbells, make it a little more challenging. Just make it safe. Taking your time, push it through the heel. I want you to have the modified options and the harder options. Cycle rest for 30 seconds. And relax. Woo! We made it through round one. I wish I could move louder. Try not to wake up the whole house per usual. <laughs> get some water and we'll get set up for round two. Right. We are starting with our chair burpees. Remember, you can change how hard everything is. If you want to make it a little harder or a little easier, I'm doing what my body can do, and you do what your body can do. It's all about moving in any way possible. Let's do it. Remember, when you do these, this plank position, that core better be turned on. If you want to hold that plank for a little longer, you can. If you want to add the jumping, add the jumping. And relax. All right, we got our squat to our kickovers. 
Remember, we're alternating with leg kicks over. You can sit up. Let's do it. And you can go at whatever pace you'd like. If you want to go a little quicker, get that heart rate up a little more, go for it. In my mind, I'm always thinking of all the harder options <laughs> that I and that I miss doing. But gotta listen to my body. And the fact that we are moving and other people are probably sitting, that's amazing. Your body will thank you. Ideally, we'd go lower. And relax. All right, we've got our Bulgarian split squats. Let's start with our right leg forward and our left leg back. Five seconds. Let's do it. Pushing through that front heel. Leaning forward a little bit. You don't need to get a crazy stretch in those hip flexors. Unless you're very flexible, go for it. If you feel like you're going to fall over, hold on to something just lightly. And switch sides, same thing. Shoulder taps. If you want to modify 
trying to make them a little easier. You can do them against the wall. I'm going to do a few on the chair. Probably not. Go against the wall just so I can do more. So remember, you're here. Tap. Tap. Okay? So keep going. I'm doing mine against the wall so I can do more. Because I want to keep moving. This is my modification. Still engaging my core. Still working my arms and my shoulders. And I can do more of these. I can focus on keeping my core engaged more. Modifications all around, right? And we got it. Just like waiting for <laughs> to fall through the wall for some reason. <laughs> Seconds. Almost there. And relax. Woo! We made it through round two. One more round left. Get some water. Wipe your sweat. So just remember, if any of these exercises you felt like you could do Go longer, do more reps. Five seconds. Try to make them a little more challenging this round, okay? Just a little more. Recover for 15 seconds. So with the burpees, maybe add a jump. With the Bulgarian split squats, maybe Five add seconds. some weights. All right, everyone gets it up for the chair burpees. One Let's do it. Remember, the goal of all of these workouts is to move. So the, even if you're doing the easiest modification, maybe you do a rep or two instead of the whole minute, it's better than nothing. Just proud of you for showing up and wanting to move that body. And relax. All right, we got our squats to our kickovers. Five seconds. Remember, you can kick high, low, whatever you got. Just alternate which leg is kicking. Squeezing that glute on the stabilizing leg. They don't fall over. We got it. Core 
Girls engaged. Five seconds. Recover for 15 seconds. And relax. All right, we got our step ups. Remember, add a wave so you want to make it a little more challenging. Get ready. Let's do it. Alternating legs. Pushing through that heel. Woo! Make sure your whole entire foot gets on that chair so you can really push through that heel.
that's not moving so I don't fall over. And slowly release. Let's do a chest stretch. We're going to get up against the wall. Arm is bent at a 90 degree angle. Right arm against the wall, right foot forward, leaning into it and turning away. If you want, you can bring your arm a little higher to feel up your chest um, or a little lower, whatever feels good for you. Just hanging out here, stretching. And slowly release, same thing, other side. If you have a door frame, you can feel the stretch a little more in the door frame. Sometimes it's a little awkward when you're just on a corner of a wall. <laughs> and slowly release. All right, we are going to be doing a hip stretch. For those of you that are pregnant or don't want to get on the ground, we're doing a hip stretch right here. Right leg over left, leaning forward, feeling it in that hip. Otherwise, you're laying on your back, doing the same kind of thing, and then grabbing behind your left leg and bringing it close to you if you're on the mat. Just hanging out, stretching those hips. And slowly release, same thing, other side. I'll tell you, it's been a very interesting exercise journey with you all. Watching me regress. <laughs> but it's been, it's been fun. And I'm going to keep continuing until I can't move anymore. <laughs> and slowly release. All right, let's come um, to our mat. We are going to be doing a hamstring stretch. I like the one on the mat a little better than standing. Right leg out, left leg in. If you have knee problems, that left leg is out. Otherwise, you're here reaching for between your arch of your foot and your heel. If you can't reach here, then you're going for shin, shoelace, or toe. Just hanging out. Feeling a nice stretch in that hamstring. And slowly release, same thing, other side. Remember, if you can't reach between the arch of your foot and your heel, you're going for anything you can get. And slowly release. All right. Thank you so much for joining me today. I super appreciate it. You guys did an amazing job. Um, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.